Alright, hello everyone. What was my hand doing? I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today I found out that it was the first day of spring a couple of days ago. I think that was someday in March. <laughs> It was the start of spring a couple of days ago and I wanted to do a spring related makeup tutorial so yeah I was really excited because I'm gonna bring out the glitters, bring out the colourful eyeshadow palette, love it. Yeah I done a Christmas glam, I also done a Halloween glam makeup so I will link them down below but I want to do something different bring out the colours, try and do something different with my eyes because mainly all of the time I do the same kind of thing. One colour, then that colour, then the colour crease on the shade. No, we're going to do something different today. I'm going to do like, kind of like sunset kind of thing. I've been really intrigued and interested to try it for quite a while. So today's the day. But if you do like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and do click that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Also, if you want to see more of me, my Instagram is underscore makeglow.xo. Anyways, if you are new to my YouTube channel, hello! My name is Gracie and I do makeup related videos and I try to upload for about two times a week. I try. Sometimes I will even do three if, my, if I am on a filming route as I am at the minute. Anyways, I'm really excited to dive in and film. So without further ado, I'm going to dive straight on into today's brand new video. Okay, so I'm going to do foundation and everything, but you guys probably know what I use off by heart. So I'm going to speed up this process, but still showing you what I use. I'm just going to speed up this process and I will be right back to start off the eyes because I really want to focus in depth makeup tutorial, like in depth eye makeup tutorial today. So yeah, I'll be right back.
this. Now, I done bronzer, but I haven't done blush and highlight yet because it depends on how the look's going to turn out before I do anything with the blush or um, highlighter. So I have done um, foundation, concealer, powder, cream contour, powder, bronzer, sorry, and eyebrows. And I've just put some concealer, as you've probably seen in that little piece of footage, on my eyelids. Now, for this look, spring is all to do with flowers, pinks, oranges, yellows, just kind of everything to do with like the sun and like plants and like new life. Like when I say spring, that's what I think of. Um, so I'm gonna dip into my Revolution Pro palette. This is like the best palette for all the different colours and it's on a budget as well so I really do love these colours and um, I'm especially thinking these three today maybe a bit of these two I've used these quite a lot in the past also a bit of this yellow shade and maybe a tiny bit of the orange shade as well so I'm just going to kind of incorporate as many of these colours as I can first of all I'm going to go into the shades Fearless and Ringleader which are two very bright pinks. There you go, you can see how bright um, that ringleader is. Very pink. So I'm just gonna pack them two on in the crease, but on the lower part of the crease so we can kind of build up and create some kind of, um, you know, like a rainbow effect. I'm then going to take a bit of Fearless by itself on the same brush and I'm just going to blow out that previous colour so it can kind of drag it in to the new day which is the bright yellow. I'm then going to take the yellow shade new day on this brush and I'm just going to brush it along the outer corner basically the sorry the brush it above here and then I'm gonna take the same brush and dip the tiniest bit into fearless just a kind of blend the all the colours together. I love this palette, like I can't express to you how much I love this Revolution palette. I'm then going to take the tiniest bit of, hmm, I want to deepen it up but not too much, and take a tiny bit of upper hand, which is this brown shade right here, and a tiny bit of Ricochet, and I'm going to pop that on my inner and outer corner is it me or do you just like love doing eye makeup tutorials because I honestly love doing this, this is my favourite thing to do I'm going to take the tiniest bit of ricochet which is that dark purpley colour right there on this tiny little naked 3 brush and I'm just going to run that through the lower part of my crease so we can get kind of depth and a different colour story kind of running through and then if you're kind of losing fearless go back in and a tiny bit of nudie as well because you still want to get that And I'm just going to blend that out with my naked brush while it's here, the like other side of my naked brush. I'm going to take the tiniest little bit of Haunted, pack that on the outer corner, inner corner, because we need a tiny bit, a bit of depth, and then blend that out on my little naked brush. 
beautiful. I'm then going to take Fialis on my little brush and brush that underneath. And then I'm going to take the tiniest bit more of Nudie, the yellow colour, and continue the I'm going to take the tiniest little bit of ricochet which is the um, like the deep and deep neck color shade brilliant so I'm really pleased how the eyeshadows turned out like really friggin happy oh my goodness I can't believe I've done it yay um, I'm going to take this little brush and cut the crease I'm going to be doing a um, Halo eye today if you haven't noticed. I'm going to take the tiniest bit of my Kiko Milano thing and I'm gonna take just a little one just a little brush just kind of really dig into my corner of my eye just this little pencil brush and kind of just get in there oh hello and tiny bit of my eye Okay everyone, so this is one eye, all complete. I'm over the moon how this has turned out, like, ee! Anyways, I'm gonna do some mascara, do some lashes, do the other eye, and I'll be right back to show you the finished look and to finish off the rest of the face. Here are the finished eyes. Holy crap. I am so pleased on how these have turned out. Like, I was imagining it in my head and being like, hmm, I'm gonna try, not gonna kind of work out. Listen, I was wrong. <laughs> They've worked really well and when I have put my lashes on, they've made it 10 times better. Like, lashes make any eye makeup 10 times better anyways. But now I'm going to do blush and I wanna do kind of like a soft kind of blush today. So I'm gonna use my Olivia Hale one. I actually do really love this blush. It reminds me a lot of my Estee Lauder one. So I'm just gonna take a big brush and just kind of pat this in. And I'm not gonna do the apples. I'm kind of gonna do where I bronze. I found a new highlighter palette. Well, it's not really new, but Emily got me this and I haven't used it in a while, but I'm going to use it again. I can't really remember if I like this or not. I'm going to take my new favourite fan brush and spray it with some Mario Badescu and take the shade right here. Let's see what happens. Better, way better if you are having them dry, these highlighters. I've noticed that because when they um, go wet, they kind of go patchy, chunky on the face and it just isn't a look. Not as bright as my rosy photograph, but it is pretty. Especially down the nose, like, oh, okay, that is really pretty when you layer it up. I would definitely be going into this again. Now, for lips, I don't know if to do a bright lip. Oh, I forgot something. Okay, so I have, these are all of my glitters. Now, I want to create kind of like a flower or something kind of on my face here that kind of symbolizes spring. Basically, that is the kind of thing I want. So I'm gonna take this brush. This is like, you know, like one of them, not a, like, you know that kind of thing. And I'm going to take, I'm gonna take this bright yellow glitter 
um, for the centre. So I'm going to do like the middle bit, whatever the middle bit's called. Okay, like that so far. And then I'm going to go around it with these two different glitters. Um, yeah, just these two right here as the two petal colours. So I've got this pinky one and then this orangey one here. And I'm going to do the petals to go around but I'm going to do one pink one yellow one pink one yellow so hopefully there should be three of each colour This looks like an absolute horrific mess for now. So I'm gonna take a tiny little black eyeliner and just kind of go around it. I could totally regret this, but oops, I've already done it. Oh my God, I love this. Now I'm gonna get like tiny little rhinestones cause I want them to kind of stick like kind of really stand out so I want like little maybe like these ones that could match then also like these so I'm going to do a couple of them flower I'm literally obsessed how it looks now for the lips um, I'm gonna take this little Clinique um, lip pop in plum pop um, I used to use this quite a lot mine's kind of broken <laughs> so I'm um, it's a little weeny just a little weeny one and I think it goes perfect with the inner pop It's a weeny bit dark and dingy, so I'm going to take a bit of my Studio 10 gloss and kind of just go over it. Okay, everyone, so this is the final look. Can I tell you, I'm friggin' obsessed with it. I'm going to quickly take a tiny bit of my Maradescu spray and spritz. Just a wincy bit. accomplish anything like this and also the flower can we just appreciate that for a minute like hello but anyways um i'm literally loving how this turned out and if you are as well don't forget to like comment subscribe and do click that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in the future also i did mention this before Oh, but I did do a Halloween glam, Christmas glam, and I also forgot to mention I did do a um, Valentine's Day glam where I kind of just done like this hard thing on my face. Super proud of that one. I will link that down below as well. If you want to follow me on any other social media platforms and see more of me, um, it's 
go follow my Instagram, which is underscoremakeupbelove.xo. If you want to see any more videos related to kind of this kind of thing with the glitters, because I do really enjoy. But I have spent an hour and a half on my makeup. A mirror has just fell and then it decides that it wants to nearly knock over one of my lights. No. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate if you stayed until the end of the video. I love you and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye everyone.